Mike Rooney. Today's free art lesson is on how to gray out a color. Uh, you don't want everything in the painting to be bright and, and in your face, especially if you're landscape painting. Like I'm a plein air painter and I mostly paint, you know, realistic scenes of landscapes, urban scenes, whatever. So I, I don't want to be an expressionist. I'm not trying to, you know, blow your mind with color. So I don't want everything to be super colorful. Even in nature, it's not. So I'm going to show you some ways you can gray out some things without, uh, I should call it desaturating, because we don't like to use the word gray. Uh, gray connotes like uh, battleship gray. It's not a very uh, pretty color, so we don't like to use the word gray. So let's say how we desaturate color straight out of the tube. Now there's several ways you can do it. Um, this lesson will be on, on a few ways that you can gray it out and still keep it colorful. Uh, one of the ways is, is that you can scrape your palette. As you're, as you're working, let's say that I've got some green and I'm making this color and I'm making that color, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and I end up with that at the end of the painting or, or in the middle of the painting and I decide that I'm going to scrape my palette. I go ahead and scrape up that little bit of paint and I move it over to a section on my palette and I just add a little bit of white to it and just make a gray a desaturated color because it's a mixture of all the colors. It's got a little red in it, it's got a little blue, it's got a little green. So I try to make it a nice kind of bluish gray. Okay, So that's a, that's a light lavender gray. That'll work out for desaturating. So any of your scrapings will make a good uh, gray pile. Now what you do is, let's say that uh, I'm, painting, uh, I'm painting an orange. Okay. I've got this orange on there. So I'm painting the sun side. And then what I do is I use a cool color for my shadow side, which is blue or purple. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take red and I'm going to add a little bit of uh, I'm going to add a little bit of purple to it. And I'm going to make the shadow side of an orange just to start with. Okay. Then I'm going to go in there and I'm going to make a blue shadow for the, for the shadow on the table of that orange. Okay. Now I'm just going to do, do one side or, or what. Let's do the table too. Let's go ahead and put crazy yellow down. See, you can, if you know how to desaturate, you can put really, really hard out of the tube colors down first and then tweak them the way you need them to be. And that's usually the way I paint. I paint really, really bright out of the tube in the first, you know, half of the painting. And then I work at desaturating those colors and making them more and more like reality as I go on with the painting. So let's say that that's the tabletop. And that's, that's pretty much yellow right out of the tube. Now, you know you would never see anything in nature that looked like that. Or if you set up a still life, there'd be nothing that intense. Let's go ahead and put... Uh, let's say we put green. This would be a great exercise. Let's put green down behind it. Okay? Because I want a cool color behind it so it recedes. So I'm putting the color on there. All right, now this is how you desaturate. There's a couple ways you can do it. Let's do it with our gray pile first, or our pile of desaturated color. It's already adulterated so it'll be great for toning this down now this color that I've got is pretty light so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna darken it down I'm gonna add the opposite is the orange is gray and I'm gonna make this a little bit darker gray now what you can do is you can have a couple different piles of gray now that's a desaturated color right there so what I'm gonna do is let's say I want to tone that green down I paint in that desaturated color and look how it's knocked that green down immensely. And it might look like some trees or something behind. And it's just a little bit more like reality. All right, let's knock that orange down just a little bit. Let's take that desaturated orange and let's just add a little bit of that grayed down color and let's just smear some of that in there really lightly and just kind of knock a little bit of this orange off of it. I knocked off a little too much, didn't I? But right there is about a nice 
desaturated orange. Now let's knock down the desaturation on the red. We'll take a little bit of that gray that we had there, add a little bit of white to it, and we're going to knock off a little bit of that saturation of that red. Look how it brought it right on down without changing the value too much. And then now it looks a little more like reality. Then all we have to do is add a little more orange to it because it's a little too red. So I put some orange back in there. I'll put a little bit of red right along this line right here. And then I'll put a yellow with a little bit of that gray. See, that gray is wonderful because you can use it for a whole bunch of different things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to simulate this tabletop showing up in this orange. So I'm going to take that and mix it in with a little bit of uh, yellow ochre. And I'm going to make a line like it's picking up reflected light from right there. Now I'm going to take blue, put that in here, and I'm going to use a little bit of my gray, my dark gray, and just kind of kill some of that blue right out of the tube look. Add a little bit of light blue at the end over here. Okay, and then I'm going to tone down this yellow using a light gray. So I'm just going to take a bunch of that and add a lot of white to it because I don't want to I don't want to knock it down in value. I just want to knock off the intensity. So by doing this, I've harmonized everything because everything's got that gray in it. So all the colors have uh, are in the same family. They're all related, and I've got a nice grayed out looking yellow top okay in the next lesson I'm going to show you how to do it not using grays off your palette or off uh, scrapings off your palette but how to use the complement to bring it back down um, if you'd like to see more about me you can look me up online at micronystudios.blogspot.com